So yesterday at a robotics meeting, somebody brought up that concept of like a hot knife that can toast bread while it's cutting it. And I realized I have a laser cutter. And what a great opportunity for a second channel video. Even better than that, I think I have some really old ingredients at home because the loaf of bread that I cooked overnight is a brick. Aside from being rather dense and therefore a little unpleasant to eat, this piece of bread is physically short, which means that as the laser comes down to a focus and then that focus spreads out again, we're actually gonna be able to cut this better. The depth of focus of the laser is going to be less of a problem with this loaf rather than one that rose properly. nasty bread fumes outside. So, the bread is about 13 millimeters wide. 13 centimeters. 130. That's what I wanted to do. What settings? <laughs> so, I figure in order for this to be scientific, we sort of need to set expectations first. I'm, one, I want to be able to cut the bread. As a second goal, I want the cut surface to be notably toasted or hardened in some way. And as a third goal, warm enough to easily spread butter on the toasted surface. I think that that one's pretty much impossible, but I am looking for a charred surface. I think that the first two goals are achievable, but they're probably going to depend significantly on these settings. And I think we're going to be able to cut the top of the bread better than we're going to be able to cut the bottom of the bread because by the time it gets down there the laser will have spread out. I'm going to guess for the previous settings which we're cutting this which is this really cheapo 4.4 uh, millimeter plywood is it equivalent to like three inches of bread. <laughs> <laughs> oh it's going. Oh it did not make it far at all. Wow. Um, five millimeters per second. Oh, it smells like burnt bread. Oh my God. It's not going anywhere. That sucks. Come on. It's not coming out the bottom. <clears throat> Ooh, that was not bad. It's all about the focus. That looks like toast. It is toasting it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna lower our expectations. I'm gonna cut this off. Okay, admittedly, I used a knife on bread to, to thin it. How pathetic is that? Oh, we have fire. <laughs> the bread's on fire. God, it smells like burnt toast. It really does. It smells bad. <laughs> Wait a minute, I didn't actually move it any closer. It was 0.7 millimeters per second. Bread fire. Oh, it's so close. Look at that. That's a piece of toast. Looks like pumpernickel now. So if you ever have like five minutes to cut a slice of bread, this is a fantastic option. I'm excited. That's a piece of toast.
it sounds like toast. <laughs> oh my god, it tastes like, I don't know, campfire smoke. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna eat that whole piece. <coughs> it's, it's like eating soot. Ah. I guess it is eating soot. But hey, you can toast bread on a laser. Man, what am I doing with my morning? I swear there are real projects being made for the main channel right now. If anybody out there wants to try this with like a really narrow convergence angle laser, it might actually work. And I would be willing to try it, depending on what else has been in that laser.